Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear viewers, welcome to all my new lecture <coughs> Today we are going to be start lecture number 28 In this lecture we will discuss about welding imperfection and acceptable criteria Then we will follow the food book as per BSEN IOSU 5817 2014 So up to now this is the latest version is the 5817 2014 Whatever I find from Google You know the more latest version if you have available you refer to the new version So before we start today lecture I will uh, request to you you think this lecture is useful for you and your friends please don't forget to share with friends don't forget to share with your timeline and subscribe to my youtube channel to get all update lecture with icon to get the all notification okay let's start uh, today lecture so today lecture number is 28 welding imperfection and double criteria as per PSE and ISO 5817 2014 <coughs> So, so today we will uh, start uh, directly we will uh, go through the code book ESE and IOSU 5817 for your easy to refer so basically if we uh, practice this code book is uh, directly from code book then if we need then we can refer very easily so BSE and 5817 2014 is good book for welding fusion welder joint in steel nickel titanium and their alloys beam welding excluded quality labels for imperfection so this good book will be cover fusion welder joint <coughs> in steel nickel titanium and their alloys so beam welding will not be covered by this good book beam welding will be covered by another code book so let's see uh, what have in this code book content so content for this code book so we will discuss about the fraction scoop normative reference term and definitions symbols assessment of imperfection annex a annex b and annex c so these are the things we will try to go through then uh, we will uh, see what have is that <coughs> I will request to all of you please uh, watch this full video then you will be able to understand I think this is the this video will be something longer and it will be boring for you but if you want to learn something you should watch this full video let's see what uh, discuss today <coughs> So welding fusion welder joint in steel, nickel, titanium and their alloys, beam welding excluded, quality levels for imperfection, scope. So this scope means what? This scope is this code book will be covered with section what is the scope. These things is here are defined. This is the scope for this code book. So this international standard provides quality level of imperfection in fusion welder joint except for beam welding in all types of steel nickel titanium and their alloys it applies to material thickness <coughs> greater than or equal 0.5 mm so this is uh, this code book also another thing so you need to remember that it is covered the thickness greater than or equal 0.5 mm to more so it covers full printed buttons <coughs> So this code book will be cover full penetrated bar joint, so whatever we call the full penetration welding and fillet welds. It principle can also be applied to partial penetration bar joints. So it it will be covered the partial penetration bar joint also. So we talk before except for B for beam welding. So for beam welding we need to refer quality levels for beam welder joint in steel are present presented in ISO 13919-1 so this code book will be uh, discussed about 
what is the quality level for beam welding joint so <clears throat> uh, three quality level are given in order to permit application to a wide range of welded fabrication so for the quality level we have the three quality level actually so this three quality level is they are designed by symbols p c and d so this is the three quality level so quality level b corresponds to the highest requirement on finish oil so for this point i just uh, want to share with you some uh, more information actually for welding joints welding imperfection and acceptable criteria this code book is defined by three quality levels quality level b c and d so quality level b means higher requirements so this welding should be the higher quality to oil, quality full welding and then level c is the middle and level d is the something lower if compared co compare with the b c and d so this uh, which which level we should to follow how you know when we go to the <coughs> when we work in project then we need to know what is the project requirement first things second things we need to uh, we, we, we need to check our uh, engineering design engineering drawing what is the cata category of the structure if the category is the primary uh, special structure then primary structure or <coughs> uh, secondary structure whatever we called for piping we call the piping class one piping class two piping class three so this is the things we have to know what is the class uh, we are which structure we are uh, uh, working then for which structure uh, we are working if there is the uh, special structure must we need to follow the level b then if the structure is uh, normal then uh, maybe we need to follow c and d basically d are not allowing any pass but after also we check our project which quality level is following for which is structured so these the things we need to uh, get the information from our project requirements okay i think this part is the clear for all then several types of load are considered static load thermal load corrosion load pressure load additional guidance on fatigue loads in given nx c so when we will be go through nx c that time we what is there the quality levels uh, refer to production and good work workmanship this is international standard is applied to so this is standard higher higher apply this is the writing here again so non alloy and alloy steel the nickel and nickel alloys titanium and titanium alloys manual mechanized and automatic welding so this is the welding process this three is the material what type of material is uh, applied uh, this is the welding process then all welding position this is the welding position then wall types of welds uh, like uh, bar joints <coughs> fillet welds and branch connection and the following welding process are their sub process as defined in ISO 43 what is the sub process so 11 means metal uh, arc welding without get gash production 12 is the submast welding 13 is the gas shielded metal arc welding 14 gas shielded arc welding with full tungsten road 15 is the plasma arc welding 31 is the oxy fuel gas welding for staple then the we see the normatic reference so this uh, this uh, standard uh, this comes from they define so see this is the ISO 652 welding and applied process classification of perfection in metallic metal part on welding so basically 581 2014 actually this uh, imperfection and acceptable criteria comes from the 652 version so when I uh, the perfection acceptable level that time I will uh, try to show you what is relation between 2011 and 581.14 I hope you will watch my full video uh, start to end please don't share with your friends ok let's see the terms and definition so for this standard uh, for this code book what is the term they are used 
these things so we need otherwise we will be able to understand what is the their meaning and what they mean what so for the purpose of this document the following terms and definition applies <coughs> quality level what is the quality level description of the quality of a weld on the basis of type uh, size and amount of selected coefficient see the quality level quality of the weld actually quality level here describe or discuss about weld the basis of type what type of weld what type of size and perfection in this oil what is the imperfection <coughs> and how much is the amount of the imperfection this is the quality level then fitness for purpose what is the fitness for purpose ability of a product process or service to serve a defined purpose under specific condition so if i uh, describe this is one word then uh, we can say uh, we are uh, we are designed on product and this product is uh, suitable for under a specific condition so that one we can say the fitness for purpose then short imperfection you can see here writing short imperfection and here also imperfection. so on will be long imperfection on will be short imperfection okay, let's see weld 100 mm long or longer if welding joint is the 100 mm and or more than 100 imperfection whose total length is not greater than 25 mm in the 100 mm of the world which contains the greatest number of imperfection so in this code they say if welding uh, length is 100 mm or more than 100 mm, then welding imperfection should not be greater than 25 mm so this is the uh, basic things is here second thing is the short imperfection while joint less than 100 mm long so this one was the longer this is less than 100 mm long. imperfection whose total length is not greater than 25 percent of the length of the weld so that means if our welding joint is 18 mm then our uh, imperfection uh, length should not be 20 percent 20 mm weld so this is called the short imperfection then systematic imperfection imperfection that are repeatedly disturbed in the weld over the weld length to I mean the size of a single imperfection being with a specific limit that is called the system imperfection then projected area what is the projected area area where imperfection disturb distribute uh, area where imperfection distributed along the volume of the weld under consideration are image two dimensional note one to entry contrast to the cross section area the occurrence of imperfection is dependent on the weld thickness when exposed radiographically figure one so to figure one that time we can see this projected area so first i show the projected area so one radiography field of uh, a specimen with identical occurrence of proper uh, force per volume unit. So, it's actually called the <coughs> projected area. Then, cross sectional area, area to be considered after fracture or sectioning is the area. Smooth oil transition, what is this transition? even surface with irregularities or sharpness at the transition between the oil bead and metal it's called the smooth oil transition then fatigue class fatex the classification reference to carp in x is the stress range at 0.6 cycles so these are the things so you have to uh, read carefully and we have to understand what is called uh, what actually the can see here the term and definition so i hope uh, this section i can close so another thing is the symbols the following symbols are used here the table a and d. So i will recall all of you part uh, see here a no mean uh, this is small capital a <coughs> area surrounding 
height of the horseman diameter. I think these things you understand. So then uh, next thing is the assessment of imperfection. So we need to assessment the uh, imperfection. Then uh, we see the assessment of imperfection is the limit of imperfection are in level one. So I want to close this lecture uh, up to here. After that, uh, next lecture I will uh, show you the assessment of imperfection, how to assessment, and, uh, uh, how we need to interpret uh, this document. Uh, for example, our uh, uh, fix is uh, small, minor, yeah, for which depicts what is the uh, acceptable criteria, what is range. So I hope you will uh, enjoy this uh, lecture and next lecture. So up to next lecture, uh, I want to say a goodbye or goodbye to all. Yeah, salamu alaikum. Bye bye.